Hello humans, I'm the Alien Doctor and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be recording at 60 FPS for the first time in a long time because I want to see how well it works. Recording 60 FPS because for the longest time ever we've been recording in 48. Just need to get that out of the way because there's probably going to be some pretty big frame drops. Hopefully there won't be, if there is I'll switch back to 48. I mean, yeah, 48 is the closest I could do to 50 for some reason, don't really know what's going on there. But yeah, anyway, hello, hi, this is Aliencraft, it's episode 2, season 2, so yeah, we've got to do something in this episode, unlike last episode where we just sat and chat, and I've actually done quite a lot of stuff in between episodes. So, first of all, over here, let's talk about this. So, I found a wandering trader and I traded with him and I actually got these mini blocks so uh, what these are, I actually got 8 of them because they each come in 8 and what they are is basically mini blocks so as you can see I can place them down, I can even sit on them if I want to and even better, I can actually uh, do some stuff with them uh, to do with dyes I've just got to remember which dyes do which thing uh, so the red die makes it like aligned straight, as you can see, it's now straight. The light grey die, apparently that does nothing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, apparently light grey die does absolutely nothing. And then, oh come on, I swear I have some other, I'm pretty sure, yeah, magenta does something, right? No, pink does something. Yeah, so pink makes them go up and down, or actually no, just up. And then if you crouch and right click, you'll get rid of them. Re uh, downloads to the resource packs and behavior packs I use are in the description, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that's what these are. So I got the mossy cobblestone mini block and the snow block mini block. And as you can see, they're also both the like full um, texture. These aren't like the 8-bit textures because that's the thing we can do on Bedrock Edition. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then I also killed the Wandering Trader to get its head as well. And yeah, but that's not all I've been doing in between episodes. So you may be wondering where I got uh, 44 cooked cod and 25 cooked salmon. And I actually got it from what's inside here. So inside here is an AFK fish farm. Inside this AFK fish farm, I've got all this good stuff, including uh, lots and lots of fish. And I also got this Unbreaking 3 fishing rod, uh, which is what I've been using to fish, because obviously you get fishing rods from fishing, because that makes sense. And yeah, basically what I do is I sit here with my auto clicker, and obviously it automatically clicks, and then kind of, I don't have it turned on, but I can pretend it's turned on if you want. Uh, and then eventually this will actually go onto the hopper or down that hole and that means it's like caught something and then the next time the auto clicker clicks then it will catch whatever it's caught if that makes sense I don't know it might not uh, there'll be a link down below if you want to build this yourself to a tutorial uh, and it, that tutorial will explain it way better than I did the reason why there's a hole here as well is because it is if these blocks have access to sunlight and rain and stuff then it's actually way more efficient um, so yeah, that's why they're there. Uh, let's just sleep quickly. But yeah, also I'm not sure if I've already said this, but today is going to be a very building intensive video. So yeah, this will be interesting. And we're just going to pick all, up all these because they were only there for demonstration purposes. So what we're going to do, and I can't show you this in a creative testing world because in that creative testing world I also have other stuff and there'll just be loads of spoilers and yeah, I can't, don't want to do spoilers, so you're going to have to basically watch me build it. <laughs> so I'm going to go and build this, and what it's going to be is a tower around the AFK fish farm. Uh, and because the AFK fish farm's in a corner, it'll be a tower, that's what I meant to say. Um, and yeah, although there'll only be one bit of this tower that's like actually uh, a room, which will be the ground floor where the AFK fish farm is because yeah that's the entire reason I'm building this building is for the AFK fish farm how many times am I going to say AFK fish farm in this um, video I don't know but yeah 
So we're going to be building a tower kind of completely based around this. I've like completely based the design around it. And we kind of just need to get started with that. And yeah, this is going to be a build intensive video. Many, many, many building will be done in this video. Just a quick disclaimer. I am totally not a builder and what I've built is probably very ugly. Well, I know it's very ugly and I kind of like forgot what I planned for it and that I knew the plan wasn't that good looking anyway so I kind of just chucked together what I thought might look semi-decent so here it is uh, obviously minus spruce wood um, yeah it's mm, I don't really know I'm not a builder like I just said and I have tried but yeah also like the top though in those fences they're actually slabs so that no mobs spawn on there because I'm like up there isn't even usable as you can see there's only one floor obviously I start to make sure that there's a hole here this had to be a stair because otherwise it would create a clock with the actual redstone uh, for this fish farm and yeah that's basically that so that's this thing kind of built up I have this spruce fence there's some spruce wood over there you can just about see it or some spruce trees so yeah that's where I got the wood from but that's not the main thing that we're going to, do, going to do in today's episode because the first thing that we're going to be doing is actually getting three diamonds from our diamond pile which leaves us with three left and then actually crafting up ourselves a not a diamond hoe a diamond pickaxe and there we go because I actually do want to uh, build like all the houses in this area I want them to be functional and the first one that we're going to be doing is actually an enchantment table room slash library so that yeah that's what we'll that's the first thing that we're going to be doing and so we need to go down the mine to actually get enough obsidian to craft the enchantment table also in case you're wondering why i'm like going so fast it's because i know for a fact i'm going to run out of time in today's episode and it's going to be way longer than i want it to be so hopefully you're not too bothered by the fact that this is going to be a longer episode hopefully you're all screaming with joy <laughs> Okay, so now we have our four obsidian. The next thing we need to do is actually get a book. Yes, it is. So to craft a book, accidental caps lock, we're going to need a piece of leather, which we've of course got. And we do have some paper. However, I don't think it's enough. I thought there was a creeper coming. I heard the footsteps and I was sure something was coming. And I had that feeling it was a creeper because it was a creeper. I nearly... Got all my stuff blown up, but I saved it. Okay, and here we go, crafting the book, and we should be able... No, we need the diamonds, and then we can actually craft ourselves an enchantment table. Here we go, one enchantment table. Although I doubt we're going to have enough leather to actually get enough bookshelves. Yeah, doubt it. Because, uh, yeah, three books for one bookshelf. That's kind of annoying. So, actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to get Fortune 3 on this thing in today's episode, which is kind of a shame. Okay, so it has been a little while since I last recorded. However, I am back um, after, yeah, basically not recording for quite a while. And during that time, I have realised something. And that thing is that we actually, well, I'm playing with an add-on, uh, which I'm developing, which obviously adds in crafting changes. And one of those crafting changes is actually smelting down rotten flesh into leather which means we're probably going to be able to have enough bookshelves uh, to build up uh, an enchantment room which is pretty good is this all the leather we've got okay so in total we've got 40 leather because I have already smelted down quite a lot of my um, of what was I going to say yeah I've already smelted down quite a lot of my rotten flesh already which is why we've already got some of that leather there uh, let's see what else the only other thing is sugarcane, and I have started a sh small sugarcane farm here, like down there. However, I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, that'll just grow as I play, because now we actually need to build the building over here, uh, which is where we're going to have the actual um, enchanting area place thing. So yeah, let's get building. And for this time lapse, I thought I would actually do a little time lapse chat since I've never done that ever before. And yeah, 
let's see how this goes because I don't really know how it's going to go. But basically, in this time lapse chat, I just wanted to talk to you real quickly about why I am actually um, taking so long to actually upload these videos these days. And it is for the simple reason that I am. Um, obviously, I'm back at school. Uh, so, you know, I have homework. I also have exams to look forward to uh, and revise for, obviously. Um, so, you know, it's starting to get a lot harder and I'm starting to have less time to make videos. I also need to make sure that I'm actually spending time with my friends because I don't want because priorities. I, you know, I need to actually uh, be with, like, you know, I need to keep friendships. So, no offense, guys, but if it's my friends over making videos, then it's probably going to be my friends most of the time. Uh, but obviously, saying that, there are times that I will have to say, no, uh, I need to make a video if I'm like played with my friends all the time. But yeah, because you know, we've been playing Among Us and uh, sometimes we also play Rocket League with some other people actually. But yeah, it's fun. Um, and yeah, I've just been really enjoying that. And also, like this episode, I've been like putting it off for a while because building. Yeah, building is scary, and this video has been a very build intensive video, as you can probably tell. Lots of building, obviously, um, and also a lot of building out of uh, in between episodes as well, because I actually had to design that house. I know the house that I'm building right now that you can see in the background that I actually can't see is probably not looking that good and that is because I'm not the best builder so please keep that in mind when roasting me in the comments or just don't roast me in the comments I prefer that <laughs> but yeah there's that um and yeah I mean also like the other thing I wanted to say is I know that like my videos don't always get many views and I did actually record almost not really a rant but it's sort of a rant I guess uh, in the last episode where I basically talked about why I don't really care too much about views and stuff um, and and numbers and subscribers because basically I'm making this for fun right now I have no intention of actually turning this into like a business uh, or putting ads on my videos and I think a lot of people forget that the reason that big YouTubers uh, uh, like have to worry about their numbers and stuff is because you know that's how they're making money a lot of the time and streamers as well you know um so yeah i'm actually really not too worried uh, right now about views i know only a few people watch these videos but like nah i mean i enjoy making them hopefully you enjoy watching them if you don't enjoy watching them don't feel that like you have to watch them just because i'm a small channel um but if you actually don't like watching them then i would really recommend joining my discord server and going ahead and giving me feedback in the feedback channel that's what it's there for or obviously you could also just comment on the video that's also a very uh, suitable option as well so i have just finished the uh, actual outside the exterior of this house pretty much um and yeah i designed it myself and i know i'm not a good builder and yeah i mean i know i'm not a good builder and this probably looks terrible to all the people that are good builders but yeah I mean basically it's just gonna be pretty simple in my enchantment table is gonna be here surrounded by bookshelves and yeah that's basically the entire purpose of this house um, so I guess first of all we'll sleep also you may notice my old account is still stood there my spectator account uh, just ignore it <laughs> um, there's also a creeper over there but yeah during that time lapse you might have noticed that I actually killed a phantom um, and got myself a lovely little phantom head, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever actually gotten one of these before. I can hear a skeleton, there it is, goodbye. But yeah, I don't think I've ever got a phantom head before, so that's kind of cool. Uh, there's a zombie over there that's actually probably going to attack my alt account. Let me just kill him. Um, you know what, I should probably just put my alt into a vis invisible mode real quickly. Um, but then there's... Yeah, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. 
in case you're wondering why he's holding a diamond, just because the way he goes in and out of alt account is by, or spectator mode is by crouching holding a diamond. So I'm not cheating, that's just how this add on works. Um, oh, yeah, so now we're actually going to work on the interior for this uh, house or room or whatever. So, obviously, the first thing that we actually need is the enchantment table that we did craft. I just need to remember where on earth I actually put it. Here it is. And then next up, we're going to need some wood. I've got some in one of these places. I've got some here. Got some of this spruce as well. Let's see. Okay. And then we'll also craft up that into wood. And then thirdly, we need to grab all of the paper that we have. So we can start making some bookshelves or some books so that we can make bookshelves and let's see how much sugarcane has grown uh, okay not the most amount um, I would have liked a little bit more we'll plant these two and then we still got enough to make at least a little bit of um, of paper also I know this wall isn't finished I'll fix it at some point um, but yeah, there we go. Chuck the paper in. Get our leather. Wait, which chest did I put the leather in? We might as well also smelt down this rotten flesh because I don't really have another use for it. Um, and there we go. Uh, oh, what? You need three paper for one book, apparently. So I'm going to have to go and farm some sugar cane. And I'll be back when I found some more. <laughs> I was really not expecting to have to do this. Like, seriously, I was expecting us to not have enough paper, but nope. Or no, not paper. I was expecting us to not have enough leather, but it turns out we actually don't have enough sugarcane. Okay, I have run all around this place and all through, like, the rivers and stuff where sugarcane, like, perfect places for sugarcane to be. And all I've managed to get is five in total, which I know isn't the best, uh, but we're just going to have to deal with it for now. And, yeah, use the sugarcane that we do have to make some paper uh, to make some books uh, and eventually we'll have enough I'm just trying to find where did I put that other book because so we've got one here but which chest is it in I did craft another book right or am I going mad because I can't find it I think I've lost a book that's annoying I swear I crafted a book at of start today's episode or something that's annoying i can't even make a bookshelf because i don't have enough paper to make any more books this is annoying ah i'm gonna have to go and make some sort of a uh make some sort of farm sugarcane farm so that i can get an afk source of sugarcane because this is so bad i'll be right back okay so i know it's kind of cheaty but i have actually gone ahead and created a uh definitely temporary zero tick sugarcane farm i know these are cheesy but like honestly on bedrock they're not even that fast and sugarcanes grow really slow on bedrock and i can't live with how slow they grow so yeah i'm gonna zero tick this sugarcane but um there was something else i was gonna say oh yeah this is definitely gonna be temporary because trust me i don't want this thing knocking around here for too long so yeah we're gonna get rid of this as soon as I have enough sugarcane, so I'm just going to stay here for a little while, uh, punching out the sugarcane. In case you're wondering where we got the slime for the sticky piston from, uh, I actually, a while ago, went caving, found a slime chunk, and a slime spawned, and I killed the slime. That's how I got the slime balls, because um, obviously we don't have a slime farm yet. However, I am planning to make a slime farm at some point, obviously. I'm just not really sure. I haven't had a look at slime chunks, so I do need to do that first. Uh, I also need to sleep. But yeah, anyway, these um, yeah, these are really cheesy, and I haven't made a tutorial on them because often they break randomly as well, and they're also really cheesy. <laughs> but there are other tutorials if you do want to build these. Then, like, go ahead. In fact, most people would say AFK fish farms are cheesy. I mean, I guess they kind of are thinking about it. So whilst I was doing the zero tick sugar cane farm, I just uh, came onto the, uh, what's it called, achievement screen, and I noticed how it says zero hours there. I've definitely played Minecraft for longer than zero hours. Like, why, okay, first of all, why is it switch me to Alex as well? But yeah, I've played Alex, uh, no, I've played Minecraft, that's better, for way longer 
than zero hours. They really need to fix that bug. I thought it had been fixed. It's, I don't know why it annoys me so much, because, like, yeah, but it does. And I need it fixed right now. And with regards to how many bookshelves we have in total, we have four. It's just been a very, very long process of chopping down the sugar cane as it grows and then obviously crafting it into paper when I end up getting three. Yeah, it's kind of taking a while. What I might start doing is, should I put three out here to grow as well? Or Because they take so long, I don't think it would actually be worth it. There's also an enderman, I'll probably kill him uh, for the fun of it. Hey, this is bad. I kind of got a bit distracted and also I can see another enderman. Okay, this is actually really bad. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Okay, I need to try and get my self behind a wall so he can't come and attack me. Is that a different one? Or is that the same one? I can't tell. <laughs> There's two endermen and I nearly died and I don't want to get to nine deaths. Okay, grab the sugar cane. Okay, I'm going to assume that that enderman over there is a different enderman. Um, and I don't know where the other one went, but that was very, very strange, and I never want to have to relive that again. Okay, there he is. Oh, no. Is that the... No. Wait, what? Where? Oh, Endermen are confusing. They just keep te teleporting away. Okay, this time I actually killed him and got an enderpearl, so yay. Okay, so a little while later, I have actually built up this uh enchantment table eventually with that zero tick sugarcane farm we managed to get enough sugarcane uh to make enough paper to make enough books to make enough bookshelves to actually get level 30 enchantments as you can see this is a level 30 enchantment there's not that uh much other good enchantments on that but what the other thing that we need to make is actually a uh grindstone i'm yeah grindstone and for that, we're going to need stone slabs, so I'm going to have to go ahead and smelt down some stone real quickly. And you know what? We only need one because we have the stone cutter over there. To do that, stone cutters are just an amazing feature in Minecraft, and yeah. That's all I've got to say on that. And then also sticks, so we can get those really easily. And there we go. Okay. So now we obviously have our grindstone. Um... And yeah, that's actually going to do it for today's episode. We now have a full enchantment table with a grindstone. So basically a decent enchantment setup for enchanting things. So yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Um, it's very, 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 very sorry it took so long to release. But that's what happens when you have school and homework and exams to look forward to. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you hopefully in another video soon. You join my Discord, subscribe, like the video, all that normal stuff. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, whatever. All of that good stuff is in the description. I will see you later. Goodbye.